Good evening, everyone. This is Father Branton here for our weekly Ask and Answer here at Holy Cross. And tonight, the question that we want to wrestle with is a very good question because I think I hear it from not just one, but many people who ask this is, can I go to confession or is it okay if I can go to confession to someone other than my parish priest? And there's an additional statement that's kind of said with this question is like, I feel uncomfortable going with him because he knows me. And so first to answer the question, the short answer is yes, you can go to any other priest whom you could reasonably go to who is a validly ordained priest who has not, his faculties to hear confession have not been taken away from, which means like, you know, he hasn't done something to warrant the bishop taking away his faculty to hear confessions. And so you can go to any other priest. You don't have to go to your parish priest. But I wanted to, in conjunction with this question, kind of answer something else that's sometimes connected with this and that, you know, there's a hesitancy, many of us, to want to even go to confession at all. I hear from many young people or you can, I can remember myself growing up having a hesitancy to want to go to confession at all because, like, you know, you think, well, the priest now knows my sins. And I think something that maybe we're not aware of that might help to ease some of the burden of wanting to go to confession at all, or especially even to our parish priest, is actually can come from us knowing a little bit more about the law of the church. There's the law of the church is written in a book called the Code of Canon Law. And in there, in the kind of the laws talking about confession, it reads that the sacramental seal is inviolable. Therefore, it is absolutely forbidden for a confessor to betray in any way a penitent in words or in any manner or in for any reason. And then later on, the actual, it says like the penalty, a confessor who directly violates the sacramental seal incurs a late sententiae excommunication. So that seems really harsh, but think about it. Like this is the seal of confession is that which whenever you go into confession and you start confessing your sins, like when you begin the sacrament of confession, you are under the seal and everything that is said underneath within that sacrament is held under the seal. And so no priest, no confessor is allowed to violate that seal, to reveal someone's sins, or even in some cases to act upon the knowledge that you've acquired in that confession. That's a, uh, something that's actually mentioned in other places in canon law is that so to ease like the burden like it may be uncomfortable but know that like we as priests do not desire nor should we ever um, reveal what we have learned in confession um, not just because of the penalty but also because of something else that kind of motivates us to why we go to confession and actually we can see in the code of canon law as well this kind of is brought out in the 978th canon it reads and here in confessions the priest is to remember that he is equally a judge and a physician and has been established by god as a minister of divine justice and mercy so that he has regard for the divine honor and the salvation of souls when we hear confessions, it's not that we want to know what, you know, how everyone's sinning. It's because we want to help people to know Jesus and to, like, know his mercy and to grow in holiness. It's because we want people to be freed from the burdens of sin. You know, and we ourselves are sinners, just like all of you who come to confession. Like, we, as priests, need to seek out a priest for confession as well. And so we know, like, the grace of the sacrament receiving it. And so... You know, we don't desire, like, I, I know I don't, and I can speak for many of the priests who I know, and maybe most priests, that it's not something that we want to reveal or speak about. It's not something that, you know, oh, I know this secret about someone, and so I'm going to look at them differently. No, we're, we're sinners too. And we recognize, like, the need and the gift of the Lord's mercy received in the sacrament. So, you know, yes, you can go to another priest, who is not your parish priest, but you know, I would encourage you like that not to fear what that would be. And you know, going to confession to them is that 
it's they want to help you they want to help you grow in holiness they want to help you know jesus they want to help you know his mercy and so i hope that's helpful that's insightful that is uh something that can maybe help break down some barriers that i know a lot of people have when it comes to the sacrament of confession um, and with that i just hope you have a great evening and we'll catch you all later peace